I think that I offer something that hasn't been seen in Lethbridge for a very long time. Lethbridge voters are not used to having independent candidates running. So I've lived here for 23 years and the entire time I've lived here, we've never had an independent candidate run. We had a Rhino Party candidate run once, but we never had an independent candidate run before. And so Lethbridge voters aren't used to that. They're used to voting for parties. There seems to be a tendency among voters like that to have a sort of allegiance to parties, feeling like they have to vote for this particular party because that's what good conservatives or good liberals or good NDPers or whatever do. When an independent candidate comes forward, it changes things a little bit. Because I'm not a candidate for a specific party, there's less of this feeling of obligation to vote against me, right? Because I don't represent the bad guys. I don't represent that other party that we can't let get in. In fact, I did a survey last week. I had over 200 responses. But so I asked the people who were taking the survey, if they plan to vote for me or not. And of those who plan to vote for me, over half of them said that they had voted for the NDP in the previous federal election. A around 25% said they had voted liberal in the last federal election. About 5% said they voted green. And 7% said they had voted conservative in the 2019 federal election. That's one in 14 people who filled out the survey said that they had voted conservative in the last federal election. So we have the four biggest parties in federal politics, all had people who vote for them in the 2019 federal election, who now say they have already decided to vote for me in this federal election. I think it would be difficult for any of the other candidates to say the same thing. That tells me that my approach to politics and possibly as well, the things that I've been campaigning on are speaking to people, that it's resonating with people across the political spectrum. So that gives me hope that I'm saying things that are meaningful to not just a particular group of voters.